Hi, welcome to ePredators Daily. I'm your host, Alexa Nicholas. Let's digest. We all know Justin Long. Um, if you don't, don't take too long searching him. I don't even know what to say. Um, we pretty much all know Justin Long at this point. We all know Jonah Hill. Hopefully we all know about that really, really, really offensive punked episode that they did together that looked more like an inside joke than, you know, uh, a prank. Tonight on Punked, Justin Long has a minor problem. But uh, allegedly, hypothetically, if do they have their IDs? So I got reached out by two young girls um, that allegedly had conversations with Justin Long and Brandon Quinn. I did not know who the f- Brandon Quinn was until this situation, and I don't like the guy. I'll tell you that much. If it's a real conversation, he really disturbs the f- out of me. Um, but what was really weird about it was that he was somehow tied into Jamie Lynn Spears from Zoe 101. Um, I guess he's in the show called Sweet Magnolia. I've personally never seen it, but it's on Netflix. They're on the show together. And somehow now this weird man is in my life. Um, allegedly. (laughs) So I got a message letting me know that there were screenshots that they wanted to share of these alleged conversations via Instagram. Justin Long's looks like, um, uh, let's just say a lot more vanilla than Brandon Quinn's. But let's first go through Justin Long's conversation. So I'm guessing allegedly around May 2019, this fan who's 15 years old reaches out to Justin Long. Looks like she sends him a video. There's not a response. Then in July 23rd of 2019, another video happens, no response. Then July 23rd, the same day as the other video, he does respond. And he tells her, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing this, still figuring out how this crazy new Instagram thing works. Ha ha. You know, Justin, if you're having to still figure out Instagram, you're too old to be having a conversation with a young 15-year-old fan, allegedly, hypothetically. Just saying. Um, but thank you for your very kind message. Big squeeze. So sweet. You know, I think you could have done better without the squeeze. Um, I think just ending it with goodbye would have been probably the right, right way to go. So anyway, so I see he responded. She sends that screenshot. I'm like, okay. Next screenshot, though. It looks like they've been talking now um, for a while, or actually this is before. So actually, the the confusing part about this is that allegedly he asked her to delete certain messages, but she allegedly actually took screenshots before she deleted messages. And so some of the screenshots that I have, like have some that are redacted and some of the conversation is actually still in there. So it looks like actually in September 21st, he did respond to one of her messages and he goes, oh, hi, from Kevin, the goofy but lovable Disney mechanic. I think he's almost 40 years old at this point in 2019. I'm not really positive, but to act like you're one of your Disney characters with a girl that looks like she is 15 years old is just, um, I don't know, shady. It's creepy. It's just don't respond to any girl that looks like she's under the age of 25, to be quite honest with you. But apparently Justin Long thinks he's a um, dress-up princess at Disneyland, and he's ready to give out his autograph to this fan. She messages back, oh my God, OMG, actually, a bunch of Gs because she's 15 years old, allegedly. Um, Did Kevin just say hi to me? She's literally calling him Kevin, his character name, not even talking to him as Justin Long. When people talk to me as Nicole, I even get uncomfortable. And it could be from the same gender, whatever, I get uncomfortable. Like, I don't really, talking to fans is a very hard thing to do. And so... Just seeing him engaging with this young girl where she's actually calling him by his character name and Herbie Fully Loaded, by the way, 
Does anyone remember her being fully loaded? That was the movie with Lindsay Lohan where I think like the punch buggy or whatever like talks and I don't know Justin Long I think is the mechanic in it anyways I haven't seen it in a very long time but I think that's the movie she's referring to he wasn't even 15 there I think he was like 30 years old in Herbie Fully Loaded which just goes to show you how old Justin Long is stop talking to 15 year olds allegedly hypothetically so anyways, moving on, she goes, this made my whole night, all these cute emojis. You have no idea. I used to have the biggest crush on him. This is where, Justin, you go. I'm going to end this conversation. Okay. Um, please bring that hair back, fire emoji, and also Ma Maggie and Kevin forever. She's literally calling him by his character name, and I think Maggie is Lindsay Lohan's character. It's, it's adorable, but I'm worried for her. Seeing this as a mom, if I were to see my daughter having this conversation with this random uh, celebrity with the pl blue dick tick. <laughs> Sorry. The blue tick. Um, I would be, I'd be worried for her. This looks like it's 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 to catch a predator. To be honest with you, like if I saw this conversation on to catch a predator, it looks like he's getting set up. Like she's so young in the conversation that it looks like someone's actually feeding her what to say to make her sound younger. You know. Um, so, anyways, obviously she's a fan. Obviously, Justin Long should stop having any type of communications with her, but he decides it looks like allegedly to keep talking to her. He tells her at one point, going to the barber, be right back, wink face emoji. What's with the wink face? You're, you know you're talking to a young fan who's calling you Kevin, right, and not even Justin. You do realize that, right? Um, and then she says, can't wait to see with, you know, that little like smirk emoji and he hearts it. Then she looks like she responds, I think, to, uh, an Instagram story and says, daddy, um, with a heart emoji, fire emoji. And Justin responds with, ha ha, oh God, smacking himself in the face with an old emoji. I hope you actually did smack yourself in the fucking face because this conversation is w criminal almost. Um, and so anyways, she then says, so want to be my daddy with a, with a laugh emoji. That's where definitely this conversation should have 100% ended. But instead, Justin Long continues to engage with this allegedly 15-year-old girl, alleged 15-year-old girl. You know how he responds? Hmm. <laughs> First of all, what the f*** is the hmm for? What are you humming about? <laughs> what exactly are you thinking about? I, I'm very curious what, the, what, why the hmm. But he goes, hmm. So I'd be adopting you? You just gave her a wink face earlier. And now you're talking about adopting her. You're going to say it's as a joke. But do you understand the context? This girl has said that she has a crush on you. She is a fan. She looks like she's 13 years old and you're continuing to engage with her, which I'm not even sure if this is all the conversations that you had with her. Something tells me, in my opinion, that you talk to her maybe even outside of Instagram or you talk to her a lot more than what I've been given. Um, because what Brandon Quinn apparently told the other girl was to erase all of the text thread. And that's what all these guys end up doing, by the way is when they get into these situations that they should not be in whatsoever, they make the victim feel like she has to clean up the, their mess, their criminal activity. And that's what they do. But these girls are a lot smarter than these guys think they are. They really underestimate these underage girls. And these girls are taking snapshots because they know probably subconsciously that something not right is happening there. 
something's not right. And even if they take the snapshot because they're talking to a, a celebrity that they have a crush on or they, they idolize, regardless, they're taking these snapshots and these idiots are actually thinking they're deleting them. So newsflash for the predators or alleged newsflash for the alleged predators out there. They're taking the snapshots and guess who's receiving them now? Me. I'll continue with Justin Long's epic conversation with an alleged 15 year old girl. He then continues to say, wouldn't your own daddy be insulted? I'm insulted as a mom and I'm not even her mom. And I'm insulted by the fact that you think you can have a conversation with a 15 year old girl, give her wink emojis, tell her you're going to the barber, hearting her when she says she can't wait to see you, knowing that she's a fan, seeing images of her that make her look so, she looks young now and it's like what, four or five years later, bro. Okay, just Justin Long has a mind. I'm not gonna put that in there, but I just, I, you really might have a minor problem. Like this is really, really, really bad. Um, I guess Justin, you also put hashtag guess that's very flattering. Like, I don't know what this conversation was, Justin, but all I do know is that I'm insulted. I'm offended that this young girl had to come across you where she was a fan and it looks like, in my opinion, that she was getting preyed upon by someone that she idolized and that was a full grown f-ing adult and you're the age of her act. Like you could literally be her father, literally. You could be her father. And instead of protecting her when she's saying she had a crush on you, instead of making sure that she wasn't ever in an explo- like a, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Exploitive? Uh, exploitive? An exploitive situation? You continued the conversation with her. And allegedly what she told me, Justin, was that you were on Snapchat too with her. So I don't know what happened. I wasn't there like all you guys like to say. I wasn't there. But when I look at this conversation, something's not sitting right with me. I don't know why a grown man would ever, ever be having a conversation with a young underage fan. Ever. It's unacceptable. You have no excuse. So you either have two choices. Was this a real conversation with this girl? Number one. And are you sorry about it? Are you taking it back? Because let me pull up. What what did you say about me again? What was it again? Oh, yeah. You like to remind me that it was two decades ago. My assault from Jonah Hill. How long ago was 2019, Justin Long? Yeah, not two decades ago, bro. Um, While Justin is sympathetic to any and all victims of any abuse. You know, why don't you talk for yourself? You talked for yourself to a 15-year-old girl. Where are you now? Hiding behind a lawyer like that. Um, While Justin is sympathetic to any and all victims of any abuse. No, you're not. I don't believe that. The simple fact, and there's no such thing as a simple fact when it comes to a of a minor, remains he has no knowledge of what may or may not have happened concerning Miss Nicholas. I don't know what may or may not have happened with your fan here via DM on Instagram, but what it looks like, Justin, is not so good. So anyways, I don't know what happened. May or may not have happened. Um, But I just also, I really do find it interesting that all of you guys have no problem leaving all of this alleged evidence with underage girls, underage fans. But when it comes to having to face any type of accountability for your alleged actions, you talk through a lawyer. How about you start having a lawyer in your DMs? Maybe you won't be getting into this much trouble anymore. I would give your I would give your lawyer your fucking Instagram access and have him handle your DMs from this point on. Maybe your parties too. He can be your bouncer, he can be your social media marketing person so that you're not in situations like this because this is just humiliating. Also, I'm sorry, I can't even stop. 
also it's after the Me Too movement. So we're talking Me Too movement happens and you're having conversations with underage girls. And by the way, she says, allegedly, that you knew she was underage. Now, it may or may not have happened, but dude, I clicked on her Instagram account. She looks underage now. Right now. She looks underage. So what are you doing? And you definitely remember, by the way, um, my friend and your roommate Togo, and you remember the night of Jonah Hill. You might not have remembered the Jonah Hill incident that happened, but you remember me. And now you definitely will remember me. So for even. <laughs> um, n- n- um, upcoming. No, I'm kidding. So apparently, allegedly, this girl came into contact with another. This is brutal. Like, I, th- I, I am so, this, like, really made me nauseous today. This is really what brought me here at 9 p.m. when I really should be resting as a nine-month pregnant woman in the middle of her birth window. I should be resting. I should not be having to have this conversation about you guys. But Brandon Quinn, we meet. Allegedly, Brandon Quinn had a conversation with a underage girl, the exact age being 15 years old. Not only was she 15 years old, he allegedly in writing put that he knew she was 15 years old. The text messages or the DMs between Brandon Quinn and this child are horrific, absolutely horrific. But let's figure out who Brandon Quinn is first because I had to figure out who who are you? <laughs> um, why are you here? <laughs> Brandon Quinn is an actor. He is now 45 years old, so that would make him about 40 years old when he was allegedly having a conversation with a 15-year-old girl. He stars in a TV show called Sweet Magnolias on Netflix. And yes, that's when I started to put the two things together and realize, oh, Jamie's back. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so he's in a show with Jamie Lynn Spears called Sweet Magnolias. Haven't seen the show, but I guess it's some American romantic drama. um, And that's pretty much it. I don't really need to go into... Um, Sweet Magnolias, because unfortunately we have a more intense topic to cover. So yeah, he was born in 1977. That's old. He's older than Justin Long. So let's go into the first conversation. First of all, there's many, many text messages, I mean, many DMs, but I can't go through them all because they are so criminal and so explicit that I can't read literally one word from them onto YouTube. So I just chose the ones that I can kind of show. And just as a note, I got permission from both girls to be doing this. So this isn't me just going rogue. I got permission to do this for them. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Here comes the Brandon Quinn. By the way, that's his social media handle. The Brandon Quinn. You're really going to be known as the Brandon Quinn from this point on, let me tell you. Um, so anyways, I guess they're having this conversation about this like Disney guy that she has a crush on. Um, he goes, were you okay with his up to something antics, which I'm guessing he's referring to the fact that maybe he was hitting on her. So I'm guessing that's what he was talking about. She goes, well, I think so. I roll emoji cause they're 15. I mean, he, allegedly. I mean, he's freaking hot, and I admire him since his Disney days. Disney's being mentioned with Justin Long. Just to remind everybody how young these girls allegedly are. Disney's being mentioned, and these guys aren't, like, getting triggered by the fact that Disney... Oh, and one more thing about Brandon Quinn. Apparently, he is married with children. Disney really should have triggered him. 
Anyway, since his Disney days and he's just five years older, it's not that big of a deal. Plus, no one needs to know. Patriarchy. Indoctrination. Right here. Then she puts a, a laugh emoji. And then he goes, ha ha. Well then, but you're 15. How do you know about that stuff? Again, that's where the conversation should have ended, allegedly. But he continues. She continues. They continue. It's 2017. You know our generation is fucked up. Cry emoji. She's having to say our generation. She's having to talk about her generation because this guy's so old. She's having to like help him understand her generation. You understand? Um, she goes, we know too much. Ha ha. So you can see this is such a young girl. Like she's trying to sound older than she actually is. And even when she's trying to sound older, she sounds so young, right? So imagine being on the other end of this, having this conversation with her. You would just want to make sure she was safe, right? Not Brandon Quinn, allegedly. Somehow he thinks it's chill to ask the question, are you afraid of guys? You know what, Brandon Quinn? After reading your text messages to this alleged underage girl, allegedly, I'm really afraid of guys, okay? You're not making men look too good. She says, no, ha ha. I'm sure she was probably like, should I be? You know, like, who am I talking to? When a guy says, are you afraid of guys? That sends a shiver down my spine. And I'm a 31-year-old woman. Then he does like the side eye emoji. So you've dot, 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 dot. She's like, huh? He's like, ah, nothing. Then she goes, ha ha, are you asking if I'm a virgin? Ha ha. He responds with ba ha 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 ha, which is like, what? What am I reading? What is happening? Please it's tell like me this evil, isn't real. It's evil villain, like, wow. It is. Ba ha ha. Like, it's like, ha ha ha. It's like the earth shakes when you sent that message. Like, it is so scary. You're laughing. You're talking to an alleged 15-year-old girl. You said it allegedly in the other message, and you're laughing. You think it's funny? How funny is it now? He goes, yes. Then, not sure why, but yes. You're not sure why? You're not sure why you're asking her if she's a virgin? Well, I saw the rest of your messages, Brandon Quinn, and allegedly, apparently... You actually wanted to know details that were so explicit and gross about her in regards to that. So you knew exactly why you were asking that. I bet the 15-year-old girl even knew that. <sighs> then he goes on to, uh, in my opinion, if this conversation is real, as a survivor myself of from an old creepy man he starts to like her here he starts to tell her nope they're obviously having a conversation this is mid convo him and his wife had this babysitter for a while and my buddy said she would always flirt with him yeah right one night his wife was out of town and he needed to go somewhere so we hired her to watch his kids when the kids were in bed after he came home, she was totally flirting with him hardcore and lunged in and started kissing him. Why are you having this conversation with the 15-year-old girl? Really making Justin Long look like Disney here. A week later, Buddy texted her and one thing led to another. Here, the better house and they slept together. He can't even type. I guess it happened a couple of times. Okay, so what are you getting at, bro? Well, we find out what he's getting at. She goes, what the heck? That's, I'm not even, I don't even want to put that, actually. I might just bleep that out because I don't even like her having to be seen like this because of the patriarchy and what it did to this young girl's brain. She, it's like, oh, it's like triggering. She goes, how old was she? He puts laughing emojis 
and says, 18. Well, thank God. Why isn't the girl you're talking to 18? Your friend has morals. He's not an alleged predator. Then he goes, and this is where, as a mom who's married, I lost my appetite for the whole year. I should have you come babysit for me. Wink face. Does your wife know that you wanted this 15-year-old girl that you are preying upon, allegedly, to come watch your fucking kids, dude? Your kids. You got your kids involved? You're already sh allegedly. And then you bring your kids into it. And then she goes, and now they still doing it? <laughs> the girl's like asking basically if that babysitter and that other creepy fucking friend of his is still doing it. Um, and this is, by the way, the most vanilla parts of the conversation. The conversation is so bad, I can't begin to explain. I thought this was important to pull up too. All of it was important to pull up, but um, this is a really um, sadly good example of how a alleged <laughs> happens, okay? Um, I guess now she's deep in it, and she goes, I wish I was with you too, with a heart emoji. And then he goes, I've never done this either with like a embarrassed emoji. I wish you were a lot more fucking embarrassed. You stop doing this. And then she goes, ah, oh, our mutual first time. And then Brandon Quinn says, this has to stay between us, exclamation mark. Shame on you. You have a daughter? I want to know. Do you have a daughter? How do you sleep at night knowing you allegedly exist? That means another alleged version of you exists that could be contacting your daughter and telling her to keep criminal behavior between them. Your existence should freak the out of you if you're a parent. I, knowing you exist now, I'm scared to go drop my daughter off at some fucking person's house for a play date just from your conversation alone. And you walk around being a dad. Are you an alleged dad too? <laughs> um, OMG, totally. I promise you can trust me. This conversation is also, um, Important to share, not just to uh, hold the Brandon Quinn, you know, allegedly accountable for his alleged criminal behavior, but it's important for us to look at this conversation and really look at it. First of all, this looks like a conversation that would have happened before 2017. It's on Instagram DM. His name's right there. You would think this kind of predatory stupidity happened pre-Weinstein. But no, it's still happening. And these men allegedly still think they have the right and the privilege to prey on young girls. And he's not even, he, I don't even know the shows he's in. And look at the power he has, right? Because wait till you see what she says after this. She goes, OMG, totally, I promise, prayer emoji. You can 100% trust me. I would never do anything who would hurt anyone on my all-time favorite show. I'm sorry.
it's so gross like oh my god oh my god You see how um, vulnerable, you know, she is. But what's amazing is she still snapshotted it, so he underestimated her. But she goes, heard anyone on my all-time favorite show, The Fosters. I don't even know the f*** The Fosters is. That show is canceled, in my opinion. And you know how he responds to that? He says, send me something. You're, that guy is so gross. You see that, you read that. How would you, how could you ever put her in that situation? With kids, you have kids and a daughter. Send me something. We, from what I saw in the conversation, um, they were, he was sending allegedly his body parts <sighs> okay this is, the, this is the last one I can actually do because it's I'm so like triggered as a survivor because I was groomed also at the age of 16 and I was a fan too and you when you look back as an, a normal adult, not an alleged predator, not as a predator, f it, as a predator, when you look back, like when you look at this conversation, you're able to see the power dynamic and the predatory behavior so clear. And now this girl is so young and being taken advantage of. And this guy doesn't care. So anyways, I want to show one more time. He says, you have to erase this entire text thread first. Screenshot it when done and send it to me. She goes, entire, like our whole convo? Sure, haha. But why? You don't trust me? If you feel better, then we can make it on Snapchat. And then she goes into like the explicit details of their... Um, sending photos and then he goes it's not that I don't trust you but just covering my <laughs> you all you're thinking about is your <laughs> you should be caring about her look at how gross you are covering your ass this is her life this is her life she's a 15 year old girl she's a 15 year old Girl, and you're thinking about you, what your career? Well, it's done now, buddy. It's done. It's all on the fucking table from some random girl from Zoe 101. And ironically, you know my co star. How fucking weird is this? Like, somehow you didn't cover your ass enough. You underestimated the underage girl, allegedly. And now look where the f you are. You're the Brandon Quinn. We'll remember exactly what kind of Brandon Quinn you fucking are. Our generation. <laughs> Perhaps we should move this to Snap. Oh, you want to move it to Snap now? What the fuck are you doing? You got to know that that's going to happen. So, anyways, um... Brandon Quinn, if you deleted that conversation, I have it. Um, if you forgot or you're about to call up your lawyer, whatever you want to do. I have the conversation if you want it. The whole entire fucking thing. And it is so beyond disturbing that a young girl had to come to some random girl on the internet, me, because I speak out about this stuff, asking if I could help share her story because she's afraid to share her story. And she's afraid because she doesn't want to be shamed. 
she's worried about being shamed and you aren't. You should be ashamed and shame on you. If this was real, there is no shame on her. It's on you, buddy. And your other buddy. And your other buddy, Long Dong. All your buddies. You guys are all buddies. And I'm so tired of all of you. But shame on you. If that is real. If that is real. I also have a video, by the way, bro. Of her going into the conversation. She saved the whole thing. She didn't delete one fucking thing. She didn't delete anything. Thing. She didn't delete anything. You underestimated her. You underestimated her. She didn't delete one fucking thing. Not only did she not delete anything, she was able to send me a video where she goes into her DM and literally finds the conversation, clicks on your fucking name to show where you're at now. Because before, I guess, when you were talking to her, you didn't have the blue, the blue tick dick. Yeah, now you do. So she showed me that it was you, that it takes right to your verified account. So, you got a lot of explaining to do. And next time when you're trying to cover your ass, you shouldn't be doing anything that you have to cover your ass, bro. So, that's my experience with um, Brandon Quinn and uh, Justin Long. And I, I, I guess I think it's important to share this because... As a survivor, we don't really get to see our own trauma objectively with another person. And it's very rare that we get to see a conversation where the power dynamic is so, so clear and obvious and the person is so, so vulnerable and a fan um, as clearly as as Justin Long and uh, Brandon Quinn's alleged conversation. And so I hope we leave this episode understanding the power dynamics a lot better, having a lot more empathy and sympathy for the survivors and um, canceling the fosters. I think a good start would be to cancel the Fosters and maybe we don't watch Herbie fully loaded anymore. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was uh, an episode of another episode of Eat Predators Daily.